here's why I think KIDI is a better desktop environment than GNOME. Okay, my problems with GNOME. My issues with GNOME can be attributed to the very reason behind its popularity, simplicity. While simplicity can be an advantage for new users, I find GNOME overly simplistic. For instance, this is how GNOME looks like without any modifications or skins. There are no apps, folders or files and you get a thin top bar that only shows the time and the date, the quick settings and the activities button. That's it. You are basically sacrificing functionality for simplicity, which can take a toll on overall productivity. Also, despite GNOME's minimal approach, it's actually one of the bulkiest desktop environments. Right after a fresh boot, GNOME running on Fedora 40 consumes a 2.5 GB RAM. It might seem less when compared to Windows, but in the Linux world, this is huge. Now, to be fair, you can use GNOME extensions to enable desktop icons and also have a dock or panel to quickly access pinned and currently running apps. Unfortunately, each time GNOME releases a new update, a few of the extensions break. This means your custom set apps with your favorite extensions and themes have a high likelihood of not working after upgrading to a newer GNOME version. Okay. Why I love Kitty over GNOME? I have used GNOME and I have used Kitty, and if all other factors remain the same, like the distance over availability, I'll pick Kitty again and again. So what is it about Kitty Plasma that I love so much? and why do I think it's better than GNOME. Kiddy offers a familiar and functional user interface. By default, Kiddy Plasma has always looked similar to Windows, with current iterations looking like a modern version of Windows 7. You have a panel at the button functioning as the taskbar with a start menu in the left corner followed by a tray of icons where you can pin your favorite apps and view currently running programs. Uh, in the right corner, you have the system tray for quick settings and time and date. You can have app icons, folders, files, and widgets on the desktop to maximize its utility and your efficiency. It is one of the most customizable desktop environments. While KD Plasma's default look resembles Windows, you can easily customize it to look like a Mac or something totally fresh and unique out of your imagination. For example, here's Garuda Linux running KD Plasma with a UI that resembles Mac OS. Also, did you know that the Steam Deck's operating system SteamOS uses KDE Plasma as its desktop environment. This just goes uh, to show how custom accessible and flexible it is. A desktop customization on KDE is only limited by your imagination. You can make KDE look ultra minimal, highly functional, or mimic a different operating system. It gives you access to all the necessary settings and tools to take control of the desktop and build something that fits your taste and requirements. Kiddy is resource efficient and optimized for performance. Despite having a modern and polished look, with access to numerous settings and powerful features, Kiddy e Plasma is incredibly resource efficient. A fresh install of KDE Neon running KDE Plasma following a fresh boot 
consumes less than 1.5 GB RAM. This means you can run a KDE-based Linux distribution on less powerful hardware. Also, on high-end systems, KDE's small footprint ensures that most of your hardware resources are available for your applications. A massive library of apps based on the Qt Toolkit. A KDE Plasma uses the Qt Toolkit, while GNOME uses the GTK Toolkit. As a result, sometimes Qt apps uh, don't take on the GNOME styling, and vice versa. Fortunately, Qt is used by tons of popular applications, including DaVinci Resolve, OBS, VLC, VirtualBox, WPS Office, Simple Stream Recorder, and many more. As a result, uh, almost all the apps I use look great on my Plasma desktop and adhere to the set limit. What's more, KD also has a large library of apps based in Qt for almost all basic use cases, which, by the way, are really good. This means you can also stick to KD's uh, first party offering and maintain a consistent look and feel across your desktop environment. KD has tons of advanced features of power users. KDE Plasma provides tons of advanced features to maximize your efficiency while using the desktop environment. Here is a quick look at some of its uh, most powerful features that I use every day to maximize my productivity. Desktop effects. Add smooth animations and visual enhancements to tweak the look and feel of the desktop. KWing scripts. Tweaks the functionality of app, windows, and controls how they behave. Activities. Create separate workspace, each with its unique pin apps, wallpaper, widgets, and keyboard shortcuts to separate your different workflows. Screen Edge. Assign custom actions to the edge of your screen such as revealing the desktop or displaying all open windows when you move your mouse to a specific corner. Kiddy Connect integrates your Android or iOS device with your desktop. Why GNOME is more popular than Kiddy? Open source from the start. Okay. Adoption by Debian. Focus on user friendliness. Ubuntu's influence. Ubuntu also used GNOME as its default desktop environment because of its shared philosophy of creating a user-friendly Linux desktop. As Ubuntu's popularity skyrocketed, GNOME also earned a prominent place in the Linux community.